Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. So I have the newest release of NX. It's not NX 13 or 14 or anything like that, it's just NX. If you look up here at the top in the menu bar, you'll see just NX in the application that I'm in. And what the good people at Siemens are doing from here on out are they're getting rid of those big releases every year, year and a half and they're going to something a little bit more familiar to you in the context of your operating system. Let's say your Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8. So as um, new tools are defined and they're placed into the system, they're going to be updated every maybe three months, every six months, something along those lines. Rather than having to wait, maybe you request something and then it it's put in by the time you get it, uh, two release cycles away, which could be two years away, maybe three years away. So this is going to allow the people at Siemens to release new tools, updates, patches, fixes much quicker and um, give you tools that you want request in a much, much shorter uh, time frame. So there's a lot of benefits to that and, and um, looking forward to seeing how they have it all worked out. So again, there's no more NX 13, 14, it's just simply NX. And the way it's uh, basically working is you have a little update button right over here, automatic updates. So uh, since I've just released it, there's no updates. It'll show a little green ball or uh, there'll be a, a notification here in a month or two whenever those updates are going to happen. And you just basically let it know you want to update and boom, updates, just like your service packs on your operating system or maintenance or whatever, uh, whatever it is you're using. So uh, I think that's going to be really nice uh, as time progresses. And uh, I know they have it all worked out, so looking forward to it. Now the big change that you see are the icons. They all look very different. Uh, they've really cleaned up that palette. And I'm personally a big fan of, uh, of how they've done it and the way the icons look and the colors and everything. It took a minute to get used to it, but now that I'm used to it, um, big fan, really like it a lot. The the direct sketch gallery they've updated, you know, the tools entering and just overall much better user experience. Um, another area of big change is the part navigator. Uh, all the navigators you'll see have been, of course, the icons and such refreshed. The little probably tools inside and out have been updated and changed. But uh, for the part navigator, let me go in here and I'm going to activate one of the parts. I'll just double click on the main housing. And you'll see what we have is a standard tree. All the icons again have been updated. Um, something just off to the right, right here. It's called current feature. It's a new column. And instead of right mouse clicking and saying make current feature, you just simply click in the column. And just like that, it's the current feature kind of nice. You'll also notice the enhancements to the performance of the system. It's really fast. They, they're always making things a little faster, right? Trying to improve how things operate and work. And um, there's some nice uh, speed improvements from what I can tell as well. So uh, this alone uh, really made me very happy. Okay, you no longer have to have an icon or keyboard shortcut or anything like that. Um, another thing that they've done is I'm just going to go over here and right mouse click, go into properties. So I'm going to go to the properties of the part navigator. And there's a new option here. It's called feature checkbox action. Right now it's suppressed. This is the default uh, when you get it. And this is what you're used to seeing. This is what's always been there is that has always been a suppress. Now I can change that to hide. When I do hide, you'll notice that the icon here changes to a little eye. This is the new um, icon for hide show. Basically, this is a shown element. Okay, if I click on that, you'll see I get the icon changes, got a little slash through it, and the object that I have picked is now hidden. It's not suppressed. So this is no longer suppressing things. Um, I Once I got used to the uh, current feature, um, as far as right mouse clicking, you know, back in the day when they first introduced that, because I've been on the system now for a long time, um, the suppress tool is something that I use less and less. And I almost never use it anymore. 
So um, I was very grateful that this operates similar to the assembly navigator. The difference is the assembly navigator still has the little red check mark. Here, it's this little eyeball. So with this, I can show, hide something really quickly. You'll note the line right here. There's my line. If I click on the line, you'll see the parent is that geometry. If I hide that, it doesn't turn the line off at all because it's just hiding and showing it. And um, for me, having the hide show right here, as well as the current feature right over here, really makes things faster. I'm no longer having to dig around and a third mouse button click. I'm no longer having to use keyboard for anything, uh, for hide show, make current, any, any of that stuff. It just makes things a little quicker and I'm a big fan really like that so um, that is the the basic part navigator that's what we see big changes there for the part navigator the current feature and the hide show um, you'll also notice uh, other performance enhancements uh, and again some of the other navigators we'll get into the, some of those later on they've added some tools as well and um, it as far as uh, releases and changes and what's what's happened I think this is a very positive step in the right direction for Siemens I don't know of any other software package or any CAD package that's offering the incremental release structure the way Siemens is offering it um, as well as being able to uh, quickly navigate in the tree for um, hide show with just simply a, a left mouse click now as well as the make current feature so um, I think these, just these alone, would be magical. But uh, they've done a lot, and um, I'll be getting into that um, as we go over uh, go over uh, NX in the next few weeks. So um, stick with me, and you'll see more. And um, again, big fan.